it's been amazing. Um, incredible journey. Um, I never would have thought I was a nine-year-old boy walking into that indoor school that I would have played maybe one game. So to, to have played as many games as I have and, and uh, being a part of a championship winning side, it, it really is very special. Yeah, growing up, you know, you've gone through all the age groups, you've seen all these players. Did you always have to pinch yourself when you became a bear, especially with such affiliation to the county? Yeah, I did actually. It's uh, it's a real funny one. I was, I was chatting about it the other day. As I was growing up, sort of age group cricket from under nines through up to under 18s, our side, our 11 that played was pretty similar. So throughout that, the, those years, naturally, you, you generate a lot of friendships, not just with the players, but the parents as, as, as well. Um, we had a real quite close-knit um, t- uh, group of players. Um, and I was really the only one who, who managed to, very fortunate to come through and play. So yeah, it's very, very special. I've obviously been thinking about that the last few days. Uh, and yeah, you're right, sort of almost pinch yourself, r- real proud of being able to play one game, let alone sort of 70. So yeah, really pleased. As a local lad, what did it mean to play for the best? Yeah, yeah, a lot. Obviously not just myself, family, family or Warwickshire, Warwickshire born and bred. Um, granddad used to bring me down here when I was a little kid. So not just for myself as a Warwickshire fan, but um, for all of my family, um, I'd like to think that I've made them proud by playing for as long as I have. We like to say we're a close-knit club, a family club. How many friends have you made, this, you know, made friends for life? Yeah, I think that I said to the lads on Sunday when um, I announced I was leaving, um, it's not just more than just the cricket. I think when you've been here for such the amount of time that I have been, it's not just the friendships you generate with the lads. Of course, I've made some very, very special friends um, right through my time here at Warwickshire, but it's all the, all the support staff, it's all the people in the office. Um, you come across so many people at this club um, and, of course, you're going to stay friends with them for a long period of time. So. Yeah, you're right. Those friendships will carry on, I'm sure. But I'm also looking forward to meeting um, meeting new lads and generating some new friendships at Derby. On the pitch, you've achieved quite a lot. County champion, Bob Willis, trophy winner. This year's been a roller coaster. That final day drama. How special have these two years been? Yeah, it's been incredible. It's something about this club. Eh? Last last day, la- last sort of hour, day four, last uh, game of the season, we managed to pull things out of the bag. Obviously, this year and last year. Two slightly different circumstances, but actually just as exciting. Um, of course, the, the Bob Willis and the County Championship will, will obviously live with me till, till the sort of day I die, I suppose. Um, something I'm very proud of as a homegrown player. And yeah, obviously wasn't playing the final uh, game this season, but wow, it's so exciting watching from the sidelines. And I'm so pleased for, for all the lads. But that spell from Norway, I think, you know, deserves a special mention. It really was something else. Are there any other standout memories that all, you'll take with you? Uh, I think I think obviously your first hundred, first hundred of the club is something that you'd, you'd I think you'll always take with you. I think any lad or any batter in particular would, would, would say their first hundred is something they'll always take with them. Um the course the, the championship's gonna be the standout, of course it has been a been a part of that and playing sort of every game or um in, in that season was something so special. But like I say, I really do mean that when I say that the friendships that I've I've developed here um over the years with so many, so many great people, um is something I'll be very thankful for. Moving to Derbyshire, under Mickey Arthur, a club that's on an upward curve. What are you looking to achieve there? Yeah, so impressive. Um, obviously, met Mickey a few weeks back. Really, really exciting. I think great opportunity for myself. Um, opportunity to, to go and play and sort of express what I can do. I think it's a brilliant club, actually. They've got a you know, real nice blend of a few experienced older lads and, uh, and some really, really good youngsters. I'm hoping that I can obviously help um, help further you know, the club and push for promotion and do two and win, you know, go, go back to winning things, winning, winning T20s, winning the 50 over comp, just being a part of winning games um, is something I'm really looking forward to doing. As a local club, Derbyshire aren't a stranger to Warwickshire. We do tend to play each other in white ball cricket. <laughs> a, how much are you looking forward to returning to Edgbaston as a Derbyshire player? And B, you won't be a stranger. You'll also enjoy coming back and speaking to the members. Yeah, of course, of course. As I say, the members and the fans is someone I probably missed out and should be should, should thank as well. You know, they've been brilliant. Always give us great support. Um, yeah, it will be strange to come back with Derby, but, you know, that's something I'm looking forward to. Um, we're catching up the lads. Um, but yeah, for me now, the biggest focus is going to Derby, giving my all and showcasing what I can do and winning games with Derby.